Hi, my name is Michael Swartz. I'm going to show you how to make a star field in Photoshop. First, let's start off by making a square document, 1024 by 1024. It can be any size you want, but this is a good resolution for me right now. And the resolution is 72 DPI, and I'm going to make the background black. Click OK. Now we need to generate some noise. Filter, noise, add noise. I'm going to use the value of 50 for the amount, Gaussian distribution, and a monochromatic uh, black and white field is good. So let's click OK there. Next, I found that this uh, filter other minimum does a nice job of remapping the image and it, what it's, what it's uh, giving us the effect of is, is sort of a more um, uh, realistic pattern. If you, s It's a very sensitive um, you know, setting here, this radius. We're, talking, we're working with pixels here, less than, we're working with sub-pixels, less than a whole pixel. And uh, so I found that a range of between 0.3 and 0.6 are pretty good for this sort of thing. And make sure that you're preserving the roundness. So I'm going to leave this at, uh, let's say, 0.4. Click OK. Let's add a levels adjustment. And we can do some further contrast enhancement just by playing around with these um, black and white uh, range sliders. Okay, so this might be a nice backdrop. Um, if you wanted to add some subtle color, if you do any sort of night photography, the Milky Way is not just monochromatic. There is some color to it, and there is color in the sky, even at night uh, when our color perception is diminished. Um, I'm going to make a gradient and click on the gradient slider here, right in the middle. And I'm going to change this to be noise. And this can help us very quickly randomize um, and find some color variations that might work out for us. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to change this to um, either radial or you can experiment with these. You know, there's uh, some nice effects here. Um, angle. Let's use, a use angle. And I'm going to rasterize this layer so I can blur it. OK, so I'm going to right click on this gradient layer. Go to Rasterize Layer, and then go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And let's just increase the blurriness value. Click OK. That's around 67. And for this, I'm going to use a, um, a color burn. And uh, it's subtle, but it has added some nice color here. And I'm going to decrease the um, opacity of this so it's not quite as strong. So it's just adding a little bit of color variation, makes it a little more realistic. All right, next I'm going to make another layer. This layer I'm going to fill it with white, okay? Now my background color right now is white already, so I can hit Command Delete or Control Delete on the PC to um, fill this to the foreground color, which is white. And now I'm going to use my brush tool and B for brush, and I'm going to just um, Make sure that my brush is all the way on the 100% uh, hardness. And I'm going to click just a, a couple points that are that size, but then I'm also going to change my size of the brush by using my left and right, right bracket keys. Make some smaller ones. Maybe make even smaller ones. Keeping them pretty widely spaced apart. And let's um, maybe make a little bit bigger. OK. So what I'm going to do is make a brush with this. So I'm going to uh, make a selection around these dots that I've just drawn on the white background. And go up to Edit, Define, Brush, Preset. Let's call it Stars01. Click OK. And now that is a brush that I can access in my brushes palette. Here they are. And uh, I'm going to show you how I might um, randomize this. If you go into the, 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 the brush um, settings here, 
uh, we can change some of these dynamic dynamics. If you have a tablet, this will really um, uh, be a lot easier. You can control it with your the pen pressure and all that. You can control the size of the stars dynamically. You can still do this without a tablet, but it's nowhere near as dynamic. Um, you can play around with the angle or the rotation of the brush, and you can jitter it based on pe pen pressure. Um, if you have a tablet, it's a wonderful thing. And scattering, uh, I'll turn that on as well. All right, and uh, now as I draw, um, I can also scale my brush down. Just like any other brush, I can scale it down. Okay. Now, let's try it on a black background, or, or just make a, a transparent layer, actually, and change my foreground color to white. And now I can add additional stars on my field here. So perhaps these are, you know, a little bit more um, uh, brighter than the other ones in the background. And we can play around with that. Um, if we go to the levels operation here, we can decrease the, the white values on the image and make them even darker so that now we have this um, secondary layer. And this adds a lot more depth to the, to the star field. So I've just darkened that levels uh, adjustment layer that we already had down here. And I think the value, yeah, it's about 200. So I've just clipped off the upper portion of um, the, the brightest stars. And I might want to darken that a little bit more too. All right, and there you have it. That's how to make a, a star field pretty quickly in Photoshop. Um, I hope you had fun.